Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me this second week of Advent for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. The second week of Advent has as its theme peace, and so we'll be looking at the Psalms that give us peace. And today's Psalm is Psalm 85. There's nothing in this world more desired than peace. Peace between nations, peace within our nation, peace within our community and our homes. And maybe most of all, peace within ourselves. Now, some people try and find that peace by uh, other religious practices or methods or psychology or at the bottom of a bottle or a bunch of pills. But really, the only real peace, the peace that transcends all understanding, can only be found in Jesus. Today's passage has that beautiful language in it showing justice and peace, or as some translations call it, mercy, kissing each other. The Heavenly Father graciously made peace with us through His Son, Jesus. The Father carried out His justice against our sin upon Jesus, and by Jesus' wounds we have been healed. And then Jesus gave us His holiness. This great exchange is what brought us peace. And it's a peace that's permanent because it's based on God's character. It's based on what God has done, His willingness to forgive. And that means that there will never be a time that God doesn't forgive us through Jesus, simply because then Jesus would have died for nothing. Only when we have a clean conscience can we have peace with God. And once we have that peace, there's no reason to worry or to be anxious because we always feel his presence in our lives. Once we have peace with God, we can then have peace within ourselves. Now, I know sometimes people say, I can never forgive myself for what I did. Oh, really? Are you better than God? He has forgiven you. Use his forgiveness to forgive yourself. Think of it as an immunization. The dead virus is injected into your body. It can't hurt you but it helps your body build up that immunity toward the worst disease. The sin that you've committed can no longer harm you. It's been forgiven by God, but use it to build up that resistance against temptation. So instead of blaming yourself for something you did, use it as that encouragement, as that help, to resist doing it again. Once you have peace within yourself, you're able to have peace with others. Treat them as God has treated you. Forgive them as God has forgiven you. Be patient with them as God is patient with you. And all the while, trust that your Heavenly Father is in control. There's nothing to get upset about. That's where real peace is found. We pray. O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all you have made and all you do for me every day in my life, I can only come to you in deep humility and give you praise and honor. Thank you for the peace that you have placed in my life, knowing that you forgive me and everything is under your control. Help me be at peace with others. Amen. Well, my friends, may the God of all peace bless and keep you so that his peace may flourish through you to others.